truly we are living in prophetic times. Friend, this is Damian Jordan for The Wise Shall Understand, and what I'm going to share with you in just a moment here is on Israel National News. Let me go ahead and transition over to it in just a few moments. What I want to do is let you know that this really is of major significance. Let's tap over and take a look at, uh, first of all, a little disclaimer here, fair use. This is basically for educational purposes and with respect to uh, trademarks, a little trademark disclaimer, but now let's go ahead and dive right into this article on Israel National News. What we see right here is the headline, Arabs to hold general rehearsal for Nakba Day. What we're talking about here is something which will coincide with May 14th. The significance of May 14th obviously is that that is the day 70 years ago on the Western calendar that Israel declared its statehood as a reborn nation, as a reborn state. Well, on May 14th, 1948, there was much celebration in Israel, but on the very next day, surrounding Arab nations attacked Israel and they lost they lost and what happened was against all odds Israel survived well for the Arabs that became known as Nakba day meaning catastrophe because all that they had planned with respect to destroying Israel failed and there have been a number of wars in which Israel survived against all odds. Well, this march of return, as they've been calling it, has been going on for a number of weeks with these different riots on Israel's borders. But this article, to which I'm referring you right now, is available once again on Israel National News. I'm going to provide the link in the description of this video so you can click right over to it for archive purposes but uh, this is fast approaching we are less than a week away from May 12th when President Trump will decide whether or not to continue with the JCPOA the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action or as it is more infamously known, the Iran nuclear deal. In the meantime, John Kerry has been making the headlines today because, as it turns out, he was going behind President Trump's back to salvage the Iran nuclear deal. So there is much at stake. And as we approach May 14th, of this year we are approaching the 70th year anniversary of Israel's rebirth as a nation on the Western calendar with that being said thank you for watching this is Damian Jordan for the why shall understand look for the direct link in the description of this video go ahead and click over and check out this article for yourself